In this one, we're gonna be creating a comment and delete view that allows our users to confirm that they want to delete this. Meaning, if they accidentally press delete, then it's gonna take them to this new page to say, confirm that you actually wanna delete this, and then it'll actually delete it, and then redirect them to the content object that the comment is on. You know, so wherever the comment actually originates from. So in our case, it's a blog post, but of course, you could use this in many other places. All right, so to do this, let's go ahead and jump into our views.py, and I'll say define, and this will be comment underscore delete, and it's gonna take in a request. We're also gonna take in an ID, and then we're gonna do some stuff in here. First of all, um, we're gonna do get object or 404. It's gonna be very similar to the comment thread. So we'll go ahead and do that, get object or 404. And all we wanna do here is, if it's a, a get request, so just a standard get request, we're just gonna render out a form that says, are you sure you want to delete? So we'll go ahead and return um, render and the request, and then we'll do confirm delete html and then the context will be just the object uh, let's put it into a context dictionary as we have and context equals object is obj okay so now that we've got this um, we are going to create our confirm delete html document so inside of templates make a new file save it as confirm delete.html. And we're gonna do a lot of the same sort of stuff that we've seen before. So I'm gonna actually just grab the comment thread itself, copy that and go into confirm delete and paste that out. Um, realistically, all we wanna do is keep a couple things and that is the main div stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of this object here and just put it down here. And then we're gonna get rid of, we can get rid of all of these other things if we want, but I'm just gonna leave them. All right, so all we wanna do here is say, um, put in this into a paragraph tag and we'll say, are you sure you want to delete? And we'll just say object, put those in quotes and then put a question mark and a closing paragraph tag. We'll close off this hidden input thing here and we're just gonna say confirm. This is a button that's just saying confirm, that's all. If we wanna hit cancel, um, all I'm gonna do is also have a cancel link, basically, so a href equals to, and it's gonna be object.get absolute URL. This is really just a button to say, hey, um, we actually don't want to do that, so um, I'm gonna change the class for the, con the, con com uh, the confirm button, and then for cancel, I'll just use default. Okay, so let's take a look at this now. Um, we have our view, we have a template for it. And now back into our URLs, we're gonna actually import this and this is comment delete. And we can actually uncomment out the other one. I'm not gonna use slug like it has here. I'm gonna use the ID as we've talked about. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And let's take a look at this and we'll go into our posts, view post. We have a comment here, so let's go ahead and look at the thread and then hit delete after. And all we see here is, are you sure you want to delete CFE? That's not actually what we want. So we will probably wanna see a little bit more detail there. So comment thread, we'll just do comment.content just like that. So in confirm delete, we'll do object.content. So that way we can see, are you sure you want to delete? Another reply to that. And I'm gonna just put an H1 tag here and just say confirm delete save that, refresh, there we go. Um, so this is really simple. Uh, we have a actual form here that has post data that says, are you sure you want to delete? We don't actually have the functionality for it, but we do have this form. So if I came in here and hit confirm, uh, nothing seems to happen, right? So it's actually trying to send post data uh, to our backend, but it, it's actually not. If I hit cancel, it does take me back. It does take me to the comment thread, which is nice. Um, but let's go ahead and hit confirm and change it so it actually does something. So inside of our view, we're gonna say if request.method equals to post, then we're just gonna say object.delete. But before I do that, I'm gonna get the content, the object's 
URL or I mean the content objects URL. So we'll say content or let's say just call it parent object URL equals to object dot content object dot get absolute URL. Uh, there's a lot going on here. I'll, I'll explain this in a second. And then we're going to return HTTP response redirect to that parent object URL um, after it's deleted. And of course, we could also add a message. So messages.success and quest. And then um, this has been deleted. Okay. So um, now that we've got this, let's go ahead and try it out again. Um, it says this has been deleted. Perfect. It actually did delete that item, um, which we could check out by going to another one. So another new comment here. So another thread. And we just go to delete, confirm, delete, hit confirm, boom, and it's gone. So each one is coming down uh, quite a bit, right? So um, let's see what's going on here again. And let's just kind of wrap it up. What we have here is, first of all, we're getting the object based off the ID. Um, that's fairly straightforward. We're checking whether or not the request method is post. Now, the reason we're doing this is only because um, we wanted to add that confirmation step. If we didn't want to have that confirmation step, if we just wanted it to be a URL, we would we could just basically do all of this stuff right here. Um, just do that inside of the Git request. That is, we could just cut this out, paste this here, and just completely do that if we didn't want a confirm delete page. But since we did want a confirm delete page, we added this request method of post, meaning when they go to that confirm delete page, when they do a Git request, to this URL, it actually requires them to submit a blank form. The form doesn't have anything in it other than that it is a post request, right? So it's the post method. Um, so then we would delete it. Before we delete it, we want to get the parent object URL. So object being the model itself, so the instance, and then the content object being where it actually exists on, which this content object, this is an object. So if it doesn't have an object, this will raise an error. And then finally, get absolute URL. If it does not have get absolute URL, it will also raise an error. So um, our get absolute URL is coming from the post model, and we did define it ourselves, right? It's actually in here. This is something we did a while ago, um, but it is definitely something that we did. So that is conf uh, comment delete. This is a view that's fairly straightforward, and it's actually a pretty common view um, as far as deleting things. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.